Hello, Microsoft Excel has a brand new feature that just came out. It is November 2019. I have Excel already running and I've got the new feature under what's new pulled up and it's dated November 15th. There is the version of Excel. So if you don't have this yet, if you're an Office 365 user, you will get this, but it's natural language queries. So here's how this works. Let me close that out. I have data starting in A1, which is my header row across the top. In case you're wondering, I have 576 records because it stops at 577. I made my header row bold and I've already made this a table with control T. It does say table design up in the top right. And if I scroll down, the header row repeats in a table. So let's give this a shot. I want to analyze my data by just typing in questions. That's all I'm going to do. Home tab over to the far right, ideas. Ideas has been around for over a year. You've always got, you've always received these charts and data. If you scroll to the bottom, I've got 32 more results. So it basically just analyze my data. But the new feature, is I can ask a question about my data. So I'm going to click here once. It has some sample questions already set up. Now to show you this, I have under brand, these are basically car manufacturers. You can see what I've got listed here. There's GM, Acura. I've also got under invoice date, I've got two years of data to look at. And I've got a numeric field called invoice amount and one called cost, and that is it for me. So let's give this a shot. Let's make this real simple. Uh, Acura. Invoice amount for 2019. There is the answer right there. Let's go give it another shot. Top three brands. Notice the word is actually brand without the S, but I'm going to type in brands for Mark Davis. Mark Davis is a rep. You can see his name in cell C2 by, and the problem is top three brands for Mark Davis by what? Cost, by invoice amount. I don't have a profit field here, but I could. So let's do invoice amount again. So for Mark Davis, GM, Ford, and Honda are the top three. I'm going to go and test that real quick. Let's just go look at Mark Davis. Let's go look at only GM. I just want to see if one of them is right. Highlight those numbers. 435973 down on the status bar in the bottom right corner. There's that number. Let's just do one more test. I'm going to change it to Ford. I should end up with 395, 193. Perfect. And let's do a couple more. Instead of... Let's leave the filters on and see what happens. So top to customer... That's A1 for 2020 by invoice amount. There we go. I could actually insert that somewhere. If you click on insert, it will put a new worksheet. Let's just test it since I'm here. There it is right there. Anyway, I find that pretty cool. One little feature you have to be careful with. So let me just... Let me just clear the filter first. I'm looking at all my data. If I come over here, I've got invoice amount and then I have cost, columns E and F. Well, if I take the invoice amount and I subtract the cost, that should be profit. Because I have a table, I have one of my favorite features working, which is called a calculated column. If you recall, this stopped in row 577, so when I press enter, 
it fills it all the way down. We just jump down there to test it real quick. Sure enough, that's row 577. So now here's the issue. Top two customers for 2020 buy profit. I'm, I'm taking a guess it will not pick it up. It did not, and here's the reason why. It analyzed, when I turned on ideas to begin with, it analyzed my data. I have since added fields to it, so it's really simple. Close it, click in it, home tab again, back over to ideas. <clears throat> I'm hoping it picked up the profit this time. Um, keep it real simple and test this. 2019 total profit because that is a field now total profit for 2019 is 1.8 million really easy to test that 2019 profit 1823558 in the bottom right corner there it is there so that is how you add fields to your data turn off ideas and then just turn it back on and it'll pick them up I love where Microsoft Excel is headed with this. Uh, this is really great stuff, just being able to type in what you're looking for. It just came out. I am an Office 365 subscriber, and I'm an Office Insider. I believe I got this on November 4th, and today is the, today is the 20th. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell if you want to get updated about my videos, which I publish two or three a week. Have a great day. Thank you.